This is my 2013 Mac Pro trash can, and it's been a while since we've abused it with a new Linux install. There's only one problem. This thing is hideous. So today, we're not only going to install an interesting Linux distro on Apple's weird tube, but we're gonna make it look cool. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy doing weird things with weird computers, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. So I'm getting ready to leave for VCF Midwest in a few days. I figured this is the perfect time to do a nice, fun project that won't lead us down any weird rabbit holes, probably. I've been meaning to redo the Linux install on the trash can for a while now, because that's what I do for fun, but I thought it might be extra fun to turn this weird tuber into something a little more visually appealing. And well, I now have two Bamboo 3D printers, who are also conveniently the sponsor of today's video, and the Mac Pro's case is small enough to fit in either of their printing beds. So let's have a quick browse through the internet and see if anyone's already improved the trash can Mac Pro's case. Oh my God. This brings me joy. This is what we're doing. We are printing out the Imperial Astromech Conversion by Circle of Owls and turning our Mac Pro into a droid. No longer will you have to tolerate the derision of the unimaginative, convert your trash can into an Imperial Astromech and bring order to the galaxy. Okay, before we go ham with the 3D printers, Let's take this Mac Pro part real quick and make sure it still has all of its components inside. And we should also pick a Linux distro. I wonder what distro the Empire would use. Oh yeah, Void Linux. All right, I know people talk a lot of crap about this rather ridiculous computer design, but it is kind of cool. I mean, case comes off, we have our two banks of memory and Oh good, I've left myself an SSD in here and it's on the adapter because Apple being Apple, that's a proprietary connector, but you just need a simple adapter to convert it. All right, real quick, let's just make sure the Mac Pro still wants to boot and will boot from this latest Void Linux 64-bit ISO on this flash drive here. All right, it chimed. Hold down option for a boot menu. Well, I guess I had Linux on this thing already. I don't know which one of these two EFI boots is the USB stick. So I'm just gonna guess the first one. Oh yeah, Void Linux installer. Let's do a quick LSBLK. Yep, there it is, NVMe 0 and 1 is a one terabyte SSD. I do think this is good to go. All right. The trash can is set to the printers. And I gotta say, I freaking love my bamboo printers. Way before they ever sponsored anything on this channel, I bought a bamboo printer and I've been using it for years with perfect prints every time. It is freaking incredible. They sent me their new A1, the lower priced one. The prints out of that one are every bit as good as the prints out of that top end X1 carbon that I've been using again, for years without issue. So we're gonna use both of those printers here. I have all of the files, and uh, what we're gonna do is sort these by color. Both of the printers have four different colored spools attached with the AMS system. The other thing I really love about Bamboo, honestly, is the software. I just use Bamboo Studio here, and really, it does everything you would want. Let's see, I'm gonna change this to the, the gray filament here. There we go. I think we need two of these. All right, what else is gray? Foot piece, okay. Yeah, I think we need two of those. All right. So I can just freaking slice plate and send it off to the A1. Pretty good.
And I really have to say, I am so pleased with these bamboo 3D printers. This A1 printer for such a low priced printer has such incredible quality. I mean, I didn't have to do any kind of calibration at all. And just look how this thing came out. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Look how well it did even the tiny details on this stuff. I mean, I bet you could print out like working floppy gears and stuff with no calibration, default settings on these bamboo printers. I really think I might get a third A1 printer and just have a full bamboo printer lab. I mean, if you're looking for a low cost entry into 3D printing, you really cannot go wrong with the bamboo A1. All right, I have liberated some metal pins from a shelf that I'm fairly certain isn't going to collapse. And now the base can sit on here like so. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. And our Mac Pro fits right in here. <laughs> Oh, that is too funny. And the legs fit on here. <laughs> All right, we'll just let this dry for a bit and then we'll come back and get Void Linux on here. <laughs> Good droid. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's the droid Mac Pro. I can't help but feel like something's still missing. There we go. <laughs> All right, finishing touch. Let's get the Empire approved Void Linux on this thing. Ooh, that's a little uncomfortable. All right, booting up the droid, sir. And we'll just do a totally normal Void Linux install here. And there we go, a perfectly normal Void Linux install on a totally normal, nothing strange about it at all, trash can Mac Pro. Okay, so today's video was really just a bit of fun before heading off to VCF Midwest. And if you're anywhere near the Chicago area on September 7th and 8th, I really hope I'll see you there because it's totally free to come. And thank you again to Bamboo for sponsoring today's video and for sending me that A1 printer and allowing me to do nonsensical things with it. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more weird stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Alex the Rat, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Darren Johnstone, Dave's Garage, Drew Hamlin, Eduardo Fonseca, Three Hours Nine, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, George Rajansky, Graham, Greg from Rut K Mods, Harris Brody, JS, James Fryman, James Laurie, Jason Pipas, Camille Rakowski, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowell, Nick Daniels, oh, it's just Jose, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Steve Sullivan. Tom Woodfin, Unknown Soldier 41, Veronica Explains, and Xantronics Industrial, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.